Okay, let's go. Ah, the horse is dead. Hello, nerds and nerds. My name is Phoenix, and today we're looking at Warbound. In the previous episode, I managed to sell some go some salt and get some money for our party. So our party now is strong with new recruits in here. I have few Vergas recruit, few Nord recruits, Nord footmen, and Northern train footmen. So actually, our party is not doing too bad. We have quite a few decent people. What we're going to do? We're going to quickly go to the villages and recruit a few more guys. If we can grab anybody to join our little party, I have to start making money. The trade is working, but it's not working efficiently enough for us. Rodos and Saruda Salonate start the war between them, that's fine. What I want, I want to grab as many footmen as I can, because we really need people. My party is quite strong now, 47 out of 58 people I can have. So we are getting there. As you can see, we are we are pretty much getting to the maximum of our party. And then eventually we'll have to do something about it. Most people from these villages are recruited. We're going to go to Yenek. Probably hit Fanada on the way first. Recruit as many people as you can grab. And then I would like to go and farm a few sea raiders and start making money in here. Let's see what Fanada can offer us. Recruit three guys, that's fine. Three is good. We're going to grab some from wherever that is. Furishen. Furishen, four northern guys. Fantastic. Our party now is 54, so pretty much maximum. Probably people from Yannick would like to join us. No, I already recruited them. Okay. Let's see if there is any salt going in Ver Verchuk. Verchuk? whatever it's called, and then we'll start getting some people. Marketplace and goods. Perfect. We have salt and it's actually cheap. So I'm going to grab it. As much salt as we can really in here. I'll just move the cabbage on the top. So we have our meats mostly sorted on top. Perfect. Okay. That we can leave this place. I'm going to go and try to kill a few raiders if we can grab them. Hopefully. We can get better at it. I practice fighting a lot. Our group is now full. Practice fighting quite a lot in here. And hopefully we can get better at it. Eventually I would like to jo join and start building some ventures. And I think that's the going to be the goal of this episode. To start getting the first ver first kind of business set up for our company in here. Because we are pretty much full. 58. Um, it's going to cost us a lot of money to sustain us, so we really need money going. 15 Sea Raiders, let's grab them. Hmm. Doesn't look like anyone is massively interested in fighting us here. I'm going to just hang around at their place. And 5 Raiders and 5 Recruits here. 15, I would like them. Fantastic, okay. Let's go and charge at the enemies. I want my group here immediately to just stand the ground for now, everybody. And she will have to set the archers somehow, but for now they can stand the ground as they are. I will have to spread up my teams and kind of sort them out, but for now we're going to let them stand for as long as we can. And I will try to do some gentle attacking on them, guys. I want to practice my bow skills. Even if I can just grab a little bit of them towards my direction. Kind of concentrate the fire. Fantastic. There is a few archers. We're going to go and send my guys now to charge. So the archers are focused on me. And that kind of saves my team a little bit. Not ideal with this bow, but actually we do have some hits. Eventually we'll get there. Go get them. Really want to improve my archery skills in here. They're not as great as I would like them to be. Like seriously. Look at that. My archery is bad, but we're getting better at it. As he practices his skills, we'll get there. Okay, let's go. Ah! The horse is dead! Okay. 
Come on. Oh my god, the archery is tragic in here, but perfect, one shot. Ah. We did collapse, but we got some shots, so our archer improved to 62. We retreated apparently, seriously have we retreated from that. We did manage to kill quite a few of them, so overall quite a good progress in here. Got some good equipment from that, I'm going to grab it, I'm going to sell that, even though didn't do massively. Have some money, that's what matters, we're going to try to grab them dudes. We didn't really successfully do that, but we're going to go and trade in marketplace. Still low level, so probably that's why our injuries are so high. It's a good price for salt. I really like it that we got quite a bit of money from that, look at that. May probably need to buy some food from the merchant. The furs, they seem quite cheap, they normally go for 300. Let's risk it and buy two furs and the rogue silk. We'll try that, we'll try that. Got them for 289 and for 250 roughly for silk. Call that a day. We'll quickly run to the next village in here and in the meantime we'll level our party in here. So let's see who can be trained. Few of our guys, northern footmen, I want them all to be trained. Fantastic. Vegar recruits into the footmen as well. So overall people leveled up nicely. We lost seven people but that's fine. It can be easily replenished as we go with it. Our company will run the market. We'll see if we can do some decent trades in here. Furs are selling nicely and silk made a lot of profit. So the silk travel was amazing. They have a lot of money. We're going to grab that. The salt is not as well priced as I would like it to be anymore. I don't think the salt is worth it. So for now we're going to just leave it as this. Still got the good money. When we look at my party now. Our inventory we have 2488 2, dinars. Getting there slowly. Probably would be a good idea to just spend one day in here for 13 dinars for a night. And we'll leave tomorrow morning. My character leveled up as well, so we should probably invest in leveling it up. I would like to level my strength to at least 12, so I can have a better power draw and power strike in here. So let's do that, 11 strength so far, have a few points in here, leadership is doing okay. Let's invest in the Iron Flesh, that will give us some HP, make it a little bit more survivable in the fights, and hopefully that will work fine. Okay, I invested a few points in the archery and 200 weapons as well. Hopefully that will be fine with us. Let's see the white party and let's see what the Yam Yamira can do. Can you level up yet? Let's see, you haven't leveled up yet sadly. Probably two more fights and she will eventually. We have 15 sea riders approaching us nice quite quickly. That's a new saying, that's a nice head you have on your shoulders. Awesome, let's get him. Charge of the enemy. Pull back, leaving some soldiers. No, we're charging. Definitely charging. I have to sort my teams. I forgot about that again. Let's cross the river first so we don't fight behind the river. As soon as everybody crosses it, we can start shooting in here. Probably not. Probably we have to go up the hill because it doesn't look great. We need to kind of slow down these enemies from here before they start shooting at us. Nice. 35 damage, shores received, that's okay though, because we slow down the guys. In here is fine. As long as my people can charge down the hill, I don't mind. Perfect. I'm trying to do as much shooting as possible in here without actually dying to their shots. 
Getting better at shooting from the horns. Definitely getting better at shooting from the horns. Look at that. My people will storm on the archers. Let's go in here with the shield. Nice. Did manage to get some shots in the Sea Rider. My people are charging at him and he will die eventually. Let's stop in here, let's just observe this fight. Perfect. I'm getting better at fighting here, definitely getting better at fighting and I now enjoy the fights. Lost few people but not too many. Yamira was wounded, we'll have to keep Yamira separate from the fight because she's not doing the best. Longbow we have, that's fine, let's keep it. Nordic Sword, 29 and... Has a better reach though than the axe. And speed rating is better in here as well. well we're going to grab the Nordic Sword there. We're going to swap everything else. The arrows, we have plus one damage arrow, that's not bad, we're going to keep it. Slowly running low on foot though, with only cabbage left. That's fine though. Let's level up everybody that we have. One them guys into skirmishers. Want them down. We're going to level them up into footmen as much as we can. Perfect, Northern trained footmen, and some of them even are trained into warriors. Fantastic, okay, I'm happy with that. I'm going to hop in the village. Oh, apparently not. Well, I didn't expect the fight so early. That's fine. Definitely have to stop my people here. Archers and infantry. Stand the ground. For now, let them just wait. Uh, maybe not. Maybe let's charge. We'll have to be charging up the hill. That's not ideal solution in here for me. Well, at least we can do a few shots there. And thrown axes are really dangerous. Any thrown weapons are deadly. If it hits me, <laughs> oh my god, that was really close. Perfect. A few shots there in the leg. As long as we can separate the teams here that are fighting, we should be fine. I don't want to get involved too much because my life is so low. But we'll be definitely shooting people in the back here wherever we can. Nice, few nice shots. Really can do quite a bit of damage now. Is there anyone escaping from us? Well, seem to be chasing somebody. And they're dead. Okay, fantastic. Probably lost more people in this fight than I expected. Six and one wounded. Not too bad. Definitely grab their equipment. Better helmet is always welcomed. Okay, here we are, the goods trader. And we're actually making quite a bit of profit from this salt. So I'm happy with that. 1000 dinars that will give us on 2500 overall with all the food and replacement of forces. Overall, really good. Let's assess the local prices because we can. We'll keep us in the, this place as well for a day, so that's not bad. Buying a wine in here and selling it in Sharis can bring 152 dinars. Saharis, Saharis. Check it out where the Saharis is first. Okay, that's quite a bit of a travel, really. But then it may be worth it. Well, probably the only way we can make some gold enough to actually do it. So let's go, let's see. 
go to marketplace first, then let's go to go local goods and buy the wine if they have enough. There's only one bottle of wine. Well, that's not worth it then. We'll skip that. Okay, I also got some salt from Vertrek. And then we're going to move on, deal with the raiders, and then go to Riva Trek. And try to sell some. Okay, Kerlin's Kanate is at war with pretty much everybody in there. That'll be a good time to actually attack them and get some castles from them if I was ready for it. Nowhere near ready yet. Few deserters. They're quite quick. I won't be able to chase them, will I? Not with my pathetic speed of four. Okay, with this, unfortunately, with the, ra with the raiders, I cannot physically catch them. They are too fast for me with my big group. We're going to be selling salt. There is a lot of salt they have in here. I sold some of silk to them, and it's actually working quite okay in this little exchange in here that we have going. We're going to go to re River Trek again. We're going to sell all the salt. Should make a nice profit from it still. And hopefully then we'll be able to move on with our lives. At least that's my hope in here. Let's go to Goods Trader. Sell all the salt. Make a quite a nice profit in here. They have some silk, we're going to grab it. They have some furs, we're going to grab them. My party needs some food. We have some smoked fish. We need probably some cheese for my people and some bread. And we should assess the local prices in here just so you can see what can we do with them. Already buying salt in here will be cheap. It would because I sold a lot of it, so that's why it went down in prices. Exactly perfect. So let's go sell it there. And then we'll see how it goes. Okay, good merchants. We're going to sell you first and we're going to sell you some silk. Overall, not bad. Made a profit of 845 denars. We're nearly getting there. It's a slow grind of my army in here. Let's assess the local prices in here then, and let's see what we can do with them. Buying grapes apparently would be a good idea in here. Buying raw silk in here and selling in Suno would bring the profit on 234. That's not bad. So Suno is desperate for silk. So we need to remember that when we buy silk next time. Let's go to Goods Merchant and let's see. Okay, let's buy some grapes, let's buy some smoked fish. And let's move on. Let's move on to Saragov. We'll see if we can buy any silk reasonably cheaply and then sell it to Suno. Hopefully you can make some decent trades. Overall, I'm slowly learning the prices, I slowly figure out what is a good price and what is not. So hopefully that will work quite okay for us. We can sell grapes, actually made some profit from that, that's good. They don't appear to have any silk, sadly. But the linen is reasonably cheap, so we're going to buy that. Have to play a little bit of a trading game in here for now. Join the tournament as well. But that's something that we're going to be doing in the next episode, guys. So for now, thank you everybody for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this series so far. We'll join the tournament, we'll do some more trading, and hopefully you can buy the first business in the next episode in today's time. Thank you everybody for watching, and take care.